my name is uh, Marcello Di Bonito. I'm from uh, Nottingham Trent University in Nottingham and I'm a senior lecturer in environmental sciences. Hi, my name is Claire Dickinson. I'm a senior lecturer with the University of Portsmouth. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Samuel Sun. I'm a lecturer at the University of Birmingham. I, um, I studied in Italy, in Naples. Uh, my undergraduate degree was in Earth Sciences. So I embarked in a PhD project, which um, allowed me to focus on one subject for, for three years, soil science, in particular, contaminated soils and how to extract information on bioavailability of contaminants, uh, particularly from uh, soil water. It is much easier, if you want to get into lecturing earlier than I did, um, that you actually um, are interested in undertaking a PhD because it is much easier through that academic route uh, to become a lecturer. Um, however, you can do things to help yourself. I mean, certainly um, we invite um, industry lecturers in to come to, to our, our students. Um, we're always looking for uh, MSc project ideas or data. So again, that's something you could offer up. Um, we often look for placements for students. So um, you might be able to take a student and mentor them. So there's lots of opportunities to begin to make links with universities. Uh, my job entails um, both teaching as well as supervision of master level students in hydrogeology, uh, which is the hydrogeology masters at the University of Birmingham. Um, so, uh, on a daily basis, I work with students on uh, the education and career development, obviously, from a technical perspective, but as well as career development perspective, and many of them would choose a groundwater, uh, well, all of them were groundwater focus, but quite a lot of them choose contaminant land side of things as uh, a thriving lifelong career, actually, I think. Uh, as, a, as a lecturer, as an academic, my job includes teaching and research. So I teach at uh, undergraduate and postgraduate level, so in, and uh, my specialist modules are in environmental biogeochemistry and GIS, the Geographical Information System. Because I work part-time, um, I'm mainly teaching, so I am preparing uh, lecture material, I'm delivering uh, lectures and I am uh, giving workshops. I also uh, spend a little bit of time uh, liaising with industry to bring in industry speakers to sort out um, MSc projects. When I was uh, in consultancy um, I actually have always tended to work on the technical side um, so I've had a, a lot of um, uh, just project experience. I was trained by um, uh, different uh, uh, people in various organisations um, actually on the job, um, which is a great way to, to learn. And I've then took that on and I also mentored and trained junior staff as I went up, uh, up through the ranks. Um, and that industry background means that I know what people need to know when they uh, come out of university. What is the favourite part of my job? Uh, yes, uh, I think it's very meaningful on a daily basis. Uh, I think to be involved in education side of things, that uh, we help students to build a career that they're, they're highly passionate about, which is really, really interesting. Sometimes when you see, it's extremely rewarding to see students that they just take off from a technical perspective, uh, but also maybe from a career development perspective, when they land a, a brilliant job that you think that they're going to do so much for the society or many societies around the world. Or sometimes they go on to do a PhD, uh, they do research, and sometimes you, you learn from them. So it's, it's extremely interesting for me. Contaminated land, I think any geoscience actually, it brings together a number of different um, sciences altogether. I love the fact that I am dealing with engineering, I'm dealing with chemistry, I'm dealing with biology. I mean, it's just so broad, as well as the understanding of natural, uh, natural processes. Um, and it's so much variety. 
um, and you are doing something uh, good for the planet at, at the same time. A lot of what I am doing is cleaning up the mess that we have, uh, we have previously made and there's something that feels uh, quite good about that and as we look forward I can see that there's an opportunity for us to be involved with the mitigation of uh, climate change and, uh, and climate resilience and sustainability. So plenty of scope um, I, I think for anybody wanting to come into contaminated land to find you know, a, it's a very satisfying career. I mean, I have loved my 30 years working in it. Being an academic uh, has a number of things. Uh, it includes, as I say, teaching and uh, research. So the fact that we have so many things um, makes the job very different from one day to the other. So one day is never the same as the other and so I think that is really a, a nice thing to do and the other thing that is, is really um, two other things that are very good is, is the relationship that you establish with the students it's, it's really rewarding to actually help them to fulfill their dreams and, and their careers uh, is, is very rewarding and in, in research um, using creativity using your ideas is really rewarding and um, in an environment where you know very often uh, you're allowed to, uh, to be creative, in fact, the more out of the box uh, you think, the better. And that's actually a very nice thing to do. Another thing for young people, uh, early career people, is that really do not uh, be afraid of making mistakes. Making mistakes is the fastest way to learn. And if you can make um, all possible mistakes in the field, you will become a world leading expert in that specific field. And another thing is that the societal impact of our line of work is profound, I would say. So we would much prefer that, uh, including myself, that when we don't know something uh, or uh, when we think we're making a mistake, do it and check with other people. Um, don't be afraid, so that we can uh, learn as quickly as we can. I've actually got uh, children choosing um, what to do at A-level. Uh, well, they're doing A-levels, they're looking to, to, to go on to university. I think you have to go where your passion lies. Actually, fundamentally, if you're going to do something for many, many years, it makes such a difference if you enjoy what you do. And so, I think you have to go where your heart is. Um, and for me, I did geology A level, I did physics A level, I did uh, maths A level, and it was like this job was made for me. The degree was fantastic. I was doing so much field work that was very practical, hands on, and yet I had all that scientific principle um, uh, as well. So I think enjoying what you're doing. Best. We need people that are prepared, that are knowledgeable about how to deal with this. And sometimes the problems are very, very complicated. They need a level of expertise and technical ability that uh, really um, to, to solve the problem. We, we, we need to protect our environment and we need to um, sometimes correct our mistakes uh, and make sure that. In fact, we, we take steps to avoid these mistakes. Um, in the future.